Eternal States Supplementary Video Inspired by Neville Goddard's Teachings In an era brimming with distractions and superficial engagements, the moment has come to explore the depths of your personal consciousness. Envision engaging in a deep introspection regarding your identity. Where do you truly find yourself, and what constitutes the core of your being? Seeking answers to these deceptively straightforward inquiries can lead to a cascade of deep and unexpected contemplations. Paul encourages us to not merely concentrate on the fleeting external elements but to shift our focus towards what is unseen, the perpetual. Within this unseen domain, your convictions take form and become embodied, establishing a condition that profoundly impacts your actions. Trust that any shift in your system of beliefs can spark a significant transformation in your outer reality. Your perception, interactions, and life experiences are on the cusp of undergoing transformations beyond imagination. Should you crave authentic and impactful alterations in your existence, if you're prepared to scrutinize long-held truths, this video is tailored for you. Now is the occasion to reevaluate your viewpoints, venture into the uncharted, and welcome the chance for deep change by seeking out your genuine core. Such an endeavor can initiate a profound internal shift that brings healing across all facets of your life. The journey of transformation awaits you. Embrace this voyage, allowing yourself to be steered by wisdom that surpasses the confines of time and space. Bear in mind, knowledge is an invaluable asset that remains with you forever, and taking action is crucial for applying the insights gained. Before we advance, I have a special plea for you. If a spark of curiosity and the urge for self-exploration and transformation stir within you, kindly express your support for this video with a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. Your engagement with our content aids us in continuing to craft videos rich with profound insights and thoughtful reflections. Should this video serve you well, spread the word to at least two acquaintances. Remember, knowledge grows when shared. Let's resume our journey to uncover the essence of your true self. Engage in silent contemplation and embark on a deep quest for self-realization. Pose to yourself these queries, who am I? Where do I stand? What is my heartfelt aspiration? The responses will shine a light on your consciousness state, the very essence of who you are. Anticipate a captivating experience as we delve into the transformative influence of your beliefs, decoding the enigmas of the human psyche. Picture a realm where the tangible is fleeting, and only that which is unseen endures. Paul shares this vision, urging us to focus on the unseen, for it holds true significance. Through a mystical viewpoint, your convictions become personified, crafting a state that decisively governs your conduct. Every adjustment in your belief framework translates into a noteworthy shift in your external reality. This profound insight is echoed by William Blake, who enlightens us that eternity is real, and all within it exists independently of creation, a gesture of divine mercy. This mystical perspective encourages us to recognize that every conceivable scenario pre-exists in eternity, beyond the temporal and spatial constraints. Everything one can envision already possesses its place in the expanse of eternity. When Blake speaks of mercy, he articulates the understanding that all states are everlasting in God's mercy. In his compassion, God brought everything into existence, without exception. Thus, any conceivable circumstance already has its place in eternity. When he states that eternity is real and all within it stands independent of creation, he invites us to grasp that our tangible experiences are merely fragments of the universe's eternal fabric, with you acting as the catalyst for animation. Upon entering any scenario, you bring it to life. Yet, it's easy to become engrossed in this animation, mistaking it for something outside your own perception. It's a revelation to recognize that we, as living souls, find ourselves in a domain seemingly engulfed in death. Nevertheless, we are destined to become life-giving spirits through an act of mercy, as Apostle Peter taught. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for through His immense mercy, we are reborn into a hopeful existence through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from death. This divine compassion enables us to transcend, to rise above the constraints of this eternally doomed world. Currently, you animate inanimate entities, perceiving them as detached from your perception. This cycle persists until God's mercy awakens Jesus Christ within you. 
without Christ dormant within, awakening would be impossible, and without His presence in you, emergence would be unattainable. Therefore, akin to Apostle Paul, you embody the death of Jesus, a sepulcher wherein He lies interred. Upon His awakening within you, you find liberation from this mortal coil. Until such time, you must navigate and adapt to the lifeless vessel you presently inhabit, until rebirth from on high. You wield the power that animates this dreamlike world, populated with inert scenes, akin to produce, capable of assuming myriad forms. As you step into each scene, you infuse it with vitality, often oblivious to this potency, mistaking other entities as independent of your essence. Understanding that all existence springs from human imagination, and all phenomena are solely its products, is crucial. Imagination is the primal force behind creation. Absent imagination, all ceases to exist. Should scarcity pervade your reality, by envisaging abundance, scarcity vanishes. Thus, any alteration in your belief system precipitates a significant transformation in your life. Now, submerged in death, we ascend to life through divine mercy. Scripture describes this metamorphosis as Jesus Christ, for He slumbers within us, and upon His awakening, we are reborn, emancipated from this mortal shell. Until such time, you can traverse various states, experiencing them, then transitioning onward. Even while physically present in Los Angeles, you might yearn for New York City. As you recline at night, close your eyes to your surroundings and envision your presence in New York City. Ask yourself, were I in New York City at this moment, what would my surroundings be? Would I perceive Los Angeles as a distant locale? Located thousands of miles to my west, where would my cherished ones reside? What state would my financial affairs be in now that I've arrived? Deliberate over these inquiries, then drift off to slumber as though you're already in New York City. Belief is an act of faith, and lacking faith, it's unfeasible to find favor with God, as the scriptures enlighten us. Through faith, we grasp that the cosmos was forged by the divine utterance, meaning that what we behold was conjured from the unseen. Embrace the faith in the unseen, in the potential that stretches beyond our visual grasp. Initially, it might seem illogical to accept the existence of something without tangible proof. How could a mere figment of imagination be the driving force behind its manifestation in our reality? Upon my initial encounter with this doctrine, skepticism was my reaction too. The notion that our imaginings could sculpt our reality seemed to clash with every logical principle I had been taught. Yet, without complete conviction, I ventured into experimentation. Astonishingly, I found myself capable of conjuring and realizing undesired outcomes through imagination. It was this revelation that illuminated the profundity of this concept for me, making clear that, beyond logic, it indeed operates. Now, I extend what I've discerned about the potency of imagination to you. I invite you to dare to believe, despite the inherent risk, for there's always the chance that what you envisage isn't truly what you seek. Hence, I counsel you to deliberate carefully, tuning into your genuine desires and ensuring alignment with your core essence. So, I pose the question, do you truly know your heart's desires? You have the potential to be anything, provided you possess self-awareness. Commence with the basic truth, I embody imagination and navigate through various states. Understand that eternity, embodying all states, is accessible in the present. Even as you transition from one state to another, believing the former to have vanished, remember, all states persist eternally. Whether affluent or impoverished, your identity remains constant across these transitions. Yet, be wary of external influences, media and societal norms can distort your self-perception, propelling you into undesired states. Bear in mind, as you traverse these states and adopt diverse roles, your core identity remains intact. You are the spectator of your life experiences, not merely the physical form you occupy. Eventually, you will awaken to this truth, assuming any guise necessary for the roles you choose to play. Whether it necessitates becoming a fish or a human, such is the divine essence within you. Learn to align your senses with your desired state. Just as I envision myself in New York City, so too can you manifest wealth, fame, or any aspiration. Visualize, feel, and believe in the immediacy of this state. Observe your world through the lens of the mind. 
even if your tangible reality remains unchanged, permit yourself to mentally hear accolades from friends on your success. Trust in the existence of this unseen experience, as Paul guides us, focus not on the visible, but on the invisible, for while the visible is transient, the invisible is everlasting. Ian's past, the enigmatic author of Ecclesiastes shared, nothing under the sun is new. Could anyone say, look, this is new? It has already existed in the epochs before us. This ancient wisdom alerts us to the cyclical nature of existence, with every conceivable scenario having been enacted before. Contemporary science, through voices like Professor Richard Fama, echoes this sentiment, suggesting that the fabric of spacetime is preordained, and we gradually awaken to its segments. In a profound vision, I too came to this realization. Entering a room akin to this, I discern my spirit animating the surroundings. Halting my animating force, time stood still, the waitress froze, birds hung mid-flight, and diners paused. It was at this moment I recognized my role as the nucleus of creation. By reanimating my energy, life resumed, waitresses served, birds soared, and the grass swayed anew. I comprehended my identity as creator, observer, and director of this scene. A day will come when you too will consciously wield this creative force. Our destiny is to awaken as deities, utilizing this power in its purest form. I urge you to test this principle before passing judgment. Despite seeming irrational, the veracity of this concept will manifest through personal experimentation. Trust in your creative force, for the divine power and your belief are boundless. Convince yourself that reality conforms to your desires, retire with this belief, as it embodies your faith. From the morrow, witness your world morphing into the envisioned reality. You need not seek validation or consent from others, for your surrounding world is inert. What purpose would consulting the inanimate serve? Envision your desires, animate the scene mentally, and watch as participants gravitate towards fulfilling your wishes. I encourage personal experimentation, no matter the perceived oddity. Give this principle a chance, and it may unveil its efficacy in unexpected, transformative ways, irrespective of societal views. Remember, your experience is the true measure of evidence, not the opinions of others. This marks the close of our enlightening journey, yet it doesn't signify its end. If this content resonated with you, kindly like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more. Your interaction enriches our collective journey, aiding in the dissemination of this knowledge. Let's keep exploring the depths of consciousness and personal transformation together. Your engagement is deeply valued, and I'm grateful for your participation in our community. Ensure you're subscribed for future updates, as we continue to unravel the mysteries of consciousness and personal transformation. Thank you for joining us on this voyage. Until our next video.